Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and the rut is on, guys. Them whitetail bucks are chasing them does all around the ridge. That's right, this is November. That's when the rut happens here in West Tennessee, and them big old bucks come out from all around, come to the ridge to find them pretty ridge does. You know what I'm saying? And we have got some awesome awesome bucks to show you today. We're going to start off in the valley, okay? The valley is about 30 yards right in front of the log home. That's right, 30 yards, and you're going to see some of the biggest bucks you've ever seen, at least here in West Tennessee, right here today, so enjoy. <music> Some good looking bucks. I'm telling you, 30 yards in front of the log cabin, and uh, them bucks did not care a bit. This is a little low bottom area I call the valley, and it's where three trails co uh, converge. Uh, one goes back, uh, a skirts between two properties, the other one goes up to the gulch. Y'all remember the gulch? Uh, Y'all check out other trail camera videos for the gulch. And then the other trail goes up to the hunting field. So, very, very good action in this area, and this next area is on the southeast bottom side of the ridge. Okay, so the ridge is in the center of our 30.45 uh, acres, and it starts to go down to bottoms on the east side, and there's a, a field, my neighbor's field over there, and man, lots of activity with them bucks traveling this ridge. And of course, there might be some predators out there as well, so enjoy these.
that back section of the ridge. I don't get out there very often uh, just to check these trail cameras about once a month. And uh, those bucks come up and close and personal to these trail cameras in that, it's that section. Um, this next set of trail camera videos are from the north side east of this property. So it's just north of where these were. You'll see a couple of the same bucks, but again, it is November and the rut is on. So all of the bucks from the 300 acres surrounding us are coming to the ridge just for you. There were a couple really, really nice bucks in that set of videos, weren't there? Now we're gonna skirt on down the west side of the north side of our property. There's a little logging road. And that's how I take that logging road to the hunting stand out there on the back 30. And that's where I got my big buck this year and where Jin Jin got her first deer this year. And we use that little logging road to, to, to silently get out to our stand. Well, them bucks like that logging road too, you're gonna see in this video right here. Gotta make you happy to see deer walking the same trails you do and not paying any mind to that scent. You kind of get them accustomed to you a little bit. It's kind of odd out here on the ridge because we've got so much going on around us, but there's 300 acres of woods on one side and there's soybean fields on the other side and there's um, housing on uh, each corner. So my property, my 30.45, is actually a pass between those housing areas from the deer to get to those 300 acres of woods to those 300 acres of soybean and corn. So yes, I got it going on. This next video set uh, looks down to the south at where I used to live, that uh, the old barn and pond property. You can see that to the south and that, that overlooks the gulch, if you remember that. And those deer love to travel that ridge down to that gulch. Check out these deer.
It don't matter if there's a barn in view, them deer got to get to where they're going, don't they? We're going to move on down for this next set to the center of the property, a little more center west. Uh, we have the log cabin, we got a hunting field, which is going to be the new barn location. And then I got this center area where I crossbow hunt. I get up close and personal with the deer here, and you're going to see them getting up close and personal with you. Again, I love seeing deer no matter what part of the property we're on. Speaking of what part of the property we're on, this is the S-curve of the driveway heading into the ridge. You know, we drive through there morning, noon, and night, and the deer don't care. You see the deer come through, and uh, some of them are some nice bucks. And also the dogs. Now, we had a lot of dog problems, and I was worried if the, if the deer were even going to, the big bucks were going to be here this year because of the dogs. Uh, well, the called the sheriff department. They came out and got four of the five dogs. Yeah. Well, that one last dog, he's still here. But here you can see a few of them coming through the month of November before that sheriff got out there. So check these out.
Well, I think I got my dog problem taken care of and I still got lots of bucks here on the ridge. We need to get back out there and get Jen Jen her first buck. She got her first doe and I need to get me one of them 10, 11, 12 pointers you saw today. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit subscribe, it's free. Hit that notification bell, it doesn't cost a thing and you will be notified anytime I got a new video out here on Ridge Life. So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.